Crushing the socials, rushing through Ukraine, touching the locals. Quasi Kodal touching the coastals. Ethiopia touching the opals. And quasi nobles kissing the ring. You niggas is Google, I'm Chat GPT, mix with the bing. Lift every voice without lifting a thing. The baby was born with the gift of the sing. I'm the last Elon, straight out of Pilon. I'm victory lapping, watching history happen, mystery cracking. It's the elitist attacking the fetus. They packing the seats up, cracking like C for C. They say it won't happen again, like gay getting back with Adidas. He back with the heaters, back in the sweepers, all black like a pack of fajitas. Used to get stacks for the features, now niggas, they pay us with straps on the back of their sneakers. Just to come stack with the teachers. We made them a promise and made us some comments. They paid us some homage. We married the game and they gave us Madonna. No maiden, no honor. Rebuking the priest like Shane O'Connor. If I take the breath, God give you the breathe. And remove the air from the wind and the breeze. Superman to turn to Christopher Reed. I injured his knee. I train the blood you got in you that bleeds. Chop the tree of knowledge down and pick up the leaves. Superman to turn to Christopher Reed. I injured his knee. I'm up on Pro Tools. Spaceship, I can hover and cloak too. I abducted and broke you. I got the tongue of a toe too. On the rumble with Goku. It wasn't even close. I thought somebody told you. I'd be munching on gold shrew till I grow you. Like I jumped on a toadstool. Never, never, never on the wall. I'm Heron, I'm the Ferris. In the rainstorms, gotta be chained on frozen like drain freeze. Go to like 18, swallow like 18. From the borough where they take green. Shit, we throw in the mainstreams. Uh -huh. Even niggas dipping in state greens. Look, you're speeding in pastries, cheaping on lace fees. Got a nigga face key. Say cheese, had to rub it in like grape seeds. Pillar bleed blue like grape street. Spitting over grape meats, slipping off always beats. I got the gas, baked beans. God is a nap that can make me. God in the nap, make cream. Got it in the bag, great leaves. I did dirt since my late teens. Now with some mustard, we stay clean. Established trust, stay cream. Added belt with no late fees. Mad as fuck when you waste cream. Sad and up through the late fees. Mars attack, that's a space beat. Mars attack like a hate speech. Mars intact. Like we make drinks, Mars is back like a lace string. What? Look, what? roll up some trees, we can pour up some tea. Yeah. Blow like a CD, you know that it's me. Uh -huh. Pop up a pair on Holy Ghost 3. What? Throw us a beat, we gon' hold that i home on my feet, on the road, I'm a freak. You don't throw me no speak, that's the cold of the street. If I take the breath, God give you the breathe. And remove the air from the wind and the breeze. Superman to turn to Christopher Reed. I injured his knee. If I train the blood, you got in you that bleed. Chop the tree of knowledge down and pick up the leaves. Superman to turn to Christopher Reed. I injured his knee. Train that actual wish me on Alaska boosters. The block is so sturdy, the Glock is so dirty. They shot it for 30 like Bob 30. They pop in the perky at Bob 30. Million Lincolns just to free the slaves. The ships are sinking and it's still free to wave. Way the way. Going to December. Going to December. Going to December. Going to December. Going to December, yeah. rich feel, rich. the new member of Bricks, agenda was flipped, FIFA Vendetta, all of my vendors is rich. Ah, that's all you get for right now. <laughs> that's all you get for right now, you heard me? First and foremost, peace to the family, peace to you and yours, peace to the family, peace to you and yours. Yes, indeed, yes, indeed, this is... The good brother Rich Phil in the building. All right, we are going to be doing Melanin Tuesdays today. You done know I got my superpowers and whatnot. We got the don't hear him talking about the download is almost complete. Superpowers is on deck, baby. You know what I'm talking about? Superpowers is on deck, niggas. It's post solar activation. You dig? 
Oh, Solar Flex. Somebody said, I need Scorpion King too after small talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to get that 48 laws, uh, uh, the 48 pillars of power before we do anything. You know what I'm talking about? You're going to get that 48 pillars of power. You know what I'm saying? And that is definitely on the way. Today is going to be the launch of that campaign. Today will be the launch of that campaign. We might even premiere a new video. Uh, we might even premiere the new video for Money and Power featuring me and Blue Pillar. You know what I'm talking about? Um, we're going to be, today's the beginning of the pre-sale. Big as the what? Today's the beginning of the pre-sales for 48 Laws of Power. All right, here's a quick little preview. to make us. All right. Video Gee, on the way at the end of the video. Video uh -huh. anyway. I'm bearing witness to these Jews trying to break the rules. They take the news, forsake the truth, and try to make us fools. The paper used to fake the news when they make a move. They hate to lose creator rules like every shade of blue. Blue. And we don't hate the Jews, we hate the views. That we forsake them dudes incapable, we bank with Jews. Debate with who that paper move and every state approve. But make us who were Jacob's crew, that's how they make a move. And they been eating off a plate of Ha ah, yeah. <laughs> Let's just keep, you know what I'm saying? Let's just keep the anticipation going and whatnot. But yeah, man, we coming with it, bro. I, I don't know any other way to say it. It, it do it wouldn't even make sense to talk about shit like this before the motherfucking eclipse. But we live in a post eclipse world. I, I just feel like we're in a new world right now. Um, you know, it, it's it's a new. It feels like a new page and shit. You know what I'm talking about? Last night we were gonna be doing a live show for Melanin Mondays, but I'm gonna keep it one thousand, y'all. I really didn't want to be on the internet last night. I didn't really want to be the internet. You know what I'm talking about? I didn't want to be on the internet like that. I didn't want to be in front of a camera. I didn't want to be in front of the fucking screen and whatnot. I wanted to see real people. So we did an album listening. We did a video premiere in Atlanta in real life. We were surrounded by real instrumental. I mean, with real, real people and whatnot. And that was very instrumental because I needed that type of energy. I, I can't feel you niggas through the screen and whatnot. Y'all don't make it rain. Y'all not giving me what I need through the screen. No disrespect, but I'm not part of that digital world. And, 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 and to be honest with you, my meditation was telling me moving forward, we can't fuck with the internet like that. This shit should only be used to do what we need to do. And you got to get the fuck off of this shit. This shit is deadly. You understand? Let's talk about all the people that was getting sick uh, after the solar eclipse and whatnot. You know what I'm talking about? I, I but that wasn't a lot of people. I don't know. We'll talk about it. I'm gonna I'm gonna probably drop a link so y'all could come in here and talk that talk and, and explain what the fuck happened yesterday. And 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 you know, because everybody had different experiences. You dig? But what I do know is I know people that were sitting in front of the computer, they was like, I feel sick. I turned off my modem and whatnot and my wife plugged the shit back in i guess i didn't put her on and tell her what i was doing but i'm like i don't want no signals in my house i don't want no bluetooth i don't want no wi-fi i don't want them to be able to beam nothing in this house they turn it on cern and all kind of stuff i'm gucci my son my four-year-old he went to sleep like he took a nap this this wasn't this he was like ah, he don't feel well but he like playing uh he like watching youtube all day so he was like yo i don't feel well i got a headache and whatnot and that's not my son my son don't be getting no damn headache so i was like you all right so he went and took a nap this nigga's four years old what are you doing taking a nap in the daytime he don't do that and i realized i was like that's him being in front of that phone uh watching these goddamn cartoons curious george and shit you know what I'm saying? Motherfucking uh, Peppa Pig. You know what I mean? We don't eat pork, but we watch Peppa Pig. You know what I'm talking about? And I'm like, yeah, we got to get away from the false lights. We got to get away from the false light. Yeah, they're lying to us. I'm we'll talking about the three thing. Pro Nigga, that wasn't the moon crossing the fucking sun, bro. Okay? That wasn't the moon crossing the sun. That was some other shit. Talk black to me. 
that you're not going to convince me that that was the moon. All kind of shit was going crazy in the sky yesterday. Oh, uh, Blue Pill showed me some shit last night. The shit looked like, it, it, I mean, it, oh, the best thing that I could say is solar activation. The best thing that we could say is solar activation. There was some level of activation that has taken place. Because, nigga, we still here. Did you die? Did you die, though? Regular sunlight, baby. You know what I'm talking about? And it's all cloudy in Atlanta right now. And it was raining and drizzling last night. As I was coming home from the stew, it was like 4 in the morning. It was mad fog. The fog, the fog looked like, it looked like ghosts. I'm dead ass. Like, the shit was, I'm driving. I'm like, yo, I know I'm high as a kite, but God damn it. Am I seeing fucking, uh, are these like entities coming up off the ground? Because, you know, like a fog is very misty and whatnot. Keep in mind, I'm in Atlanta and Atlanta fogs up, you know, um, 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 7 a.m. and whatnot. But it just looked it looked different. It was, it was, it was like, it looked like entities. I, I shit you not. I promise you. It wasn't the weed, bro. It looked like foggy entities was just like descending and whatnot on the ground. So then I go in, I, I pull, I, I, I drive in the crib. I go in the garage, right? And I say, let me park up because, you know, like the lights from the car, was that was the indicator of the fog like i'm i'm driving and shit and i'm looking through the lights i'm like what the hell is going on this this doesn't look right so the light was kind of picking up on these on this fog but when i go in the garage and i come back out and then i'm looking right there's no fog there's no fog yo when i'm looking at it through my eyes i don't see no fog but as there's only fog through the car light. So some crazy shit is going on. You know what I'm talking about? Some crazy shit is going on. First and foremost, the majority of the population was put through a fear campaign unlike any other that I've seen in a very long time. Once again, it's just giving you another reason not to trust what they call controlled major mainstream media. C M M M M, controlled major mainstream media, right? All they do and all they are paid for and their only function, it was 74 uh, degrees in New York City. Well, God damn it. You, you, you dig? It's, it's colder. I think it's not 74 degrees. Let me look at the temperature in Atlanta. Okay. Just to show you if it's 67 is the high, right? 67 is the high in Lithonia. 74 degrees in New York and we're in April. That doesn't make any sense, okay? That's what we call abnormal. I've been living in Atlanta back and forth since 1997, okay? That is not the right temperature. In April, in Atlanta, it's supposed to be at least 80 degrees, fam. It's supposed to be at least 80 degrees right now. And how the hell is New York beating out Atlanta on any day. There's no days off. It, it never was like that. The shit was consistent. You know what I'm talking about? The shit was consistent and now it's not. But I'm not a weatherman and I'm not really here to talk about the weather, okay? I'm not here to talk about the weather, okay? You niggas was praying on the rapture and it didn't happen once again. When are we going to say enough is enough, okay? Because that's not what we were pushing you ain't never heard none of that shit come out of our mouth. That's not the energy mom was giving off. We ain't giving off scary energy. First and foremost, I'm running my mouth. I'm 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 ahead of myself. Pause. Let's do the roll call. I'm just a little bit excited because once again, a nigga got his superpowers. So let's do the roll call. Let's see who's in the building. Maybe some of y'all got abducted and whatnot. Let's do the roll call and see if y'all still here with us. You know, you dig? You know what I'm talking about? Because Somebody got to tell me something. The only, the only thing that happened was J. Cole. You know what I'm talking about? The only son that set was J. Cole. The only incident in fucking world news was J. Cole. Somebody got to have to answer for this, for this fucking fear campaign and give me something. Just give me something. You know what I'm talking about? 
We got Virginia in the building. Let's do the roll call. Who's still with us? We got Duval in the building. We got Denver in the building. We got VA in the building. Shout out to VA and whatnot. You know what I'm talking about? New Orleans is in the building. PG County DMV is in the building. Portland is in the building. Texas in the building. I see you, Senegal. I see you, Senegal. Okay. Uh-huh. You dig? I see you, Nashville. You know what I mean? What up, though? I see you, Detroit. Uh, St. Louis is in the building. Uh-huh. Los Angeles. Chicago. Shout out to Chicago. Shout out to Canada. Grand Rapids. And we got Jersey in the building. And we got Nashville and New Mexico. You dig? Okay, the family is tapping in from far and beyond. Spartansburg is in the building. Le Lexington, Kentucky is in the building. We got Maryland. We have VA is for lovers. Cali's in the building. Uh, Connecticut is in the building. Shout out to Yukon. Uh-huh. Shout out to the Wolves and whatnot. Yeah. Houston is in the building. Phoenix is in the building. Kentucky, Liberia, Miami, Florida. Mm-hmm. Send us a ticket, Miami. Let's go. I know you got the airplane plugs. Send us a ticket in the Airbnb. Let's go. We ready to go to that uh to that water. Yeah, Massachusetts is here. Nashville is in here. Oh, we deep. We deep. I, that's what I like. It's a global affair. Okay. Now Bridgeport. Mm-hmm. Pray for Bridgeport. Shout out to Bridgeport. Hawaii and whatnot. You know what I'm talking about? St. Louis is here. VA is for lovers. That you 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 absolutely correct. VA is definitely for lovers. Shout out to all of the lovers in Virginia. Mississippi, Dakota, North Krakalaka, uh-huh, Bay Area, North. So we here, Arizona, Delaware, everybody. Um, I'm a, I am could run my mouth all day, but I'm not. I have a guest in the building. It's, it's always a, a movie when we have a guest. You know what I'm talking about? It's always a movie when we have a guest. I have to open up the line for my guest because we did a demonstration on Sunday that should be talked about. Uh, it, we, we should still be talking about this demonstration because it was a classic demonstration. Once again, I'm not one to toot my own horn. I'm just here to give you the recap to let you know what you may have missed. Or if you were in a building, I'm just here to remind you of that magic that was created and you were live to witness it. Brooklyn, Brooklyn is in the house. Uh, Vulture Culture, eight hours. It was me. It was uh, Al Kibalon 44, Blue Pillar 44, and Rich Phil 44. Yes, I am part of the 44 family now. I got my 44s. So real quick, let's just do a little quick. Let's see what our good brother um, Al Kibalon was talking about. Then I'm going to bring in our guests for the afternoon show. Good. All right. Hold on. All relative to your your unique cosmic script or blueprint. You know, it's not. It's not. What, this is what just is the, one you know, minute. Peep this. Peep the concentration in the whole thing. One minute out of eight hours. One minute. Ritual or, but it's all, you know, what are we supposed to do like during the eclipse or what is, you know, what, what is the, you know, ritual or, but it's all, it's all personal. It's, it's all relative to your, your unique cosmic script or blueprint. You know, it's not, it's not just a one thing. It's, it's all predicated on, on what you feel you need to do based on your own personal uh, reality. We all have, you know, desires that we we, we want to accomplish. We all have goals that we want to make. We all have vices that we want to get over. So, you know, a lot of this, again, is pre predicated on coherence. And what is coherence? Coherence is love. So, you know, during these solar eclipses, you don't want to necessarily exert your will uh and have an expectation of what the solar eclipse is supposed to give you you allow the body to be the technology because you're already receiving what you're supposed to be getting predicated on you not only being heart centered but also just being at a place of rest and allowing the communication to go back and forth but again it's all predicated on coherence Woo! i promise y'all magic in real time because that's one minute of Al Kibalon's presentation. It probably was about two to three hours, but he took us down a rabbit hole and opened up our heart chakras and he built on the word coherence and love. And I shit you not, regardless of how I feel as a hip hop fan and my personal biases, 
immediately after that lesson, somebody sent me a link and it was J. Cole on stage in front of thousands and thousands of people talking about coherence in love. I shit you not. We did not make this up. It happened in real time. We had hundreds of people to bear witness in real time to what that demonstration that this brother laid out. He is the MVP of the night. I wish I had my bombs. But I want to open up the line because we do have witnesses. And this brother right here was laying it down. He was laying it down as well, opening up our quote-unquote quote unquote, heart chakras, opening up our minds, programming our DNA for that monumental event that took place yesterday. All right. For that solo activation that took place. I feel great right now. I don't know how y'all feel, but I woke up with a new level of greatness. You dig what I'm saying? This thing is taking effect already. So without any further ado, families, I want to open up the quote unquote floor for our good brother. Blue pillar in the building. Yes, 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 indeed. Peace to the family. Peace to you and yours, brother Blue. I hope, yeah, sound bombs and effects and all that, but, you know. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah, that yeah. internal all of the bombs self welfare system. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Boom. Yeah, all of the bombs go boom. All of the bombs go boom. So, same to you. Shout out to you. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, delivered. It was like a, it was like a marathon and the baton was being passed off. You feel me? Oh, yeah, we was going crazy on that marathon passing. I, I just know I got off at 12 or something, and you got off at 430. So, yeah, shout out to you. Shout out. That's right. That's right. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's definitely. You know, time flies when you having fun. You dig? <laughs> time flies when you dropping gems. You, I was it in does. my Birkin. Yeah. You dig? And I only I had 60 slides. I only had yeah. 60 slides. Yeah, I, I averaged 150 slides on my lectures, but I, I only gave them six. And I was doing, I, I, I challenged myself that day. I, I, I really stressed my brain. Like I, when I came home, I, I probably had to curl up in the bed and whatnot and, and, and recharge because I did a lecture earlier that day in Atlanta. From like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I did a lecture on AI earlier that day. Then I followed it up with this one. So yeah, I gave them a solid four hours and it was exhilarating. And um, they loved it and I loved it. And we have a classic. And I want to say thank you for coming through, you know, with the Black Christos Mythos, bro, because that shit right yeah. there. I did a um I did a two hour sermon Sunday rising at the same time. I opened up for James Small. Um, right after that, I believe, you know, oh, you vended oh, that event on Sunday. Yeah. Then I got, you know, I got, I got how many time to plug in, you know what I'm saying? And do my lecture. I think mine's spent for, I'll, I'll say maybe an hour and some change, maybe two hours. And, um, right. I didn't, you know, I didn't, I didn't get to cover everything. I, I, I am developed in this presentation. Because my pillar predictions were so pinpoint and precise, I, I don't I don't remember a time when the forty fours were so concentrated and uh, um they was turning over in real time, like in, in not even twenty four hour periods type of activity. Yeah, so yeah, crazy. I think this this observation of the Black Christos mythos gives me a wonderful um runway, a, a wonderful template that I can draft my mythos from you know what i'm saying because it is continuous it's still going on you know what i mean in in the popular discourse the crystals messianic energy is is has taken is, is is taken a full control of geopolitics entertainment you feel me and then everything else in between so it's a wonderful observation it's a wonderful conversation and to be um, awakened and informed and cognizant of things that are taking place in, in and around you because these are just not externalized observations about things that are taking place that have no bearing on our own personal being. You know right. what I'm saying? These stories are also entwined in our journey.
journey as the as the hero twins. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, you know, trying to find out who's Jesus and who's Judas. And uh, right, right. Yeah. So, so let's do this. Let's have that conversation about the clip that I put up before I brought you in, dealing with coherence, where Akibalon was able to basically in real time tap into a very coherent message right when he did his presentation and he laid out with the energy of coherences and this energy of love and how that translated into one of the biggest stories that is still on my timeline to this day one of the biggest stories that went into quote unquote the day of the eclipse what everybody was talking about and a lot of people were thinking and whatnot and how did that place individuals you know, how is that a part of the quote unquote ritual and, and, and individuals may not have realized that they were participating in a real life ritual in real yeah. time of this eclipse of this solar activation? Well, again, you know, as I say, with hip hop, hip hop is the platform that rules um, the dominant nigga kingdom. Shout out to our brother A. A. Rashid. He really yeah. fleshes this concept, the dominant hierarchy right and at the top of dominant hierarchy in this society is he who sits atop the nigger kingdom you know what i'm saying and the nigger kingdom is let's say it will control mechanism that dominates the mind and the mentality of melanated people i.e your black twitter right these engines of influence on the internet that drive public public consensus and opinion right yes. and it really templates and speak in particular what they wake up today and should be angry about, what they wake up in today and should be celebrating, or what they wake up today and should be questioning, right? And then they put that shit into, you know what I'm saying, and, and into a trick bag where now everybody's opinion counts. And then people are shifting through opinions, ideas of their own. That's what the 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 nigga the nigga net represents. Right. Right. That's what the nigger net represents. And the dominant hierarchy connected to the nigger net is popular music, i.e. hip-hop or rap, for that matter. So this, this battle for dominance was taking place in hip-hop, but it's a larger conversation around the narrative that controls hip-hop and the assignment that goes to he who sits atop the nigger kingdom, Right. You have to be steering the people in some direction. What is your vision for the people? Cause so now you're tapped into something that supersedes the very people who we celebrate on days like this, right? Because we just got out of Holy Week and they were speaking about, you know, people are caught up in the mythos of the Christos. And I'm yes. like, this nigga only spoke to about 5,000 people when he was alive. So now you got these people who have the attention of the people during celestial events, like he eclipsed the eclipse. These stories eclipsed the eclipse. Who's he, though? You're right? saying he. No, I'm saying like J. Cole, people were, were, you know, speaking about these particular events with more veracity and more, they were more opinion what's going on with these battles than they were about what celestial events were going on in the sky, things that really affect them. Right? As above, so below, so though, right? This, Right. The hold and the sway on the mind of the masses is something that's very powerful that artists have access to. And that shit responsibility. And in my presentation and my lecture, what I pointed out is that when the when the planet went into Aries, right, which would have been around March 21st, March 20th, March 21st, when we moved into Aries, we saw the and of the personification of Aries energy manifest itself at midnight when Future Album came out and we seen the attack by Kendrick Lamar, specifically focused on Drake. And why that would be so interesting is because it's the proverbial fight between Judah and Jerusalem or Israelite versus the Israelite or the Ashkenazi or the Jew, you know, the Kaza or whatever homie represents as the quote unquote six God right this amalgamation of a messianic principle 
And I only equate it to a messianic principle because if you're seeing at the at the seat at the at the head of hip hop, that means that you are navigating the mental and the mentality. You are able to with your words to terraform our people, their direction, where they go, how they choose to um, procreate. You know what I'm saying? Sexualize themselves. You and instructions on how to push up on women and potentially. You know what I mean? Plant seeds for the future. All of this shit goes into hip hop. And we have a tendency to want to overlook it and not accredit these artists with the full credit that they deserve, that they are the fucking Pied Pipers amongst us. And if that was not the case, we're enraptured in lives. And these conversations about things that happen behind closed doors, right now, people are mentally in these people's bedrooms. On some CIA shit, they're going into their secret and their private lives, right? And you don't even work for no agency. And 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 people are spending hours on on this level of voyeurism into these artists' lives. So I'm just saying, yeah, just keep it real. Like you, you tether these artists to that degree that you are that involved in their lives that you want to know all of the details. So. Don't undermine the influence that artists has. And with that being said, with all of that fly shit that I just said, I'm saying that, um, you know, when we seen J. Cole step to the step to the um to the gamut and fall on the sword in front of the people, right? He becomes Bob those energy because he had to sacrifice himself. He had to put his self on the cross right as we were moving into the cross of time and space of the 444 ritual now what 444 number means in gematria it means messiah it means christ it means jesus and right so his initials is jc right he is a what you call the a crystals archetype just based on initials other jc's that you will recognize that are Christos archetypes. John uh, Connor, uh, right? Uh, I didn't put that together. Uh. <laughs> the JC nigga from um um uh Mars uh planet because this uh damn what was that movie? Oh, yeah, it was yeah. a major movie that came out, but it flopped and it came out on March 9th, the yes. same year, I think it was 20 but they came out which was the scare tactic dude in Africa. And the the, the acronym for Coney is King of New York. And right, March right. 9th is the anniversary of B.I.G. And they put out that, that Mars movie that day. And it was talking about taking metal in the heart. Right. And that's what, what Big got shot at. Out. Right. Somebody said, do something. <laughs> J.C. Yeah. <laughs> no, I know. I remember John Carter. John Carpenter. <laughs> John, John Carter, Carter, John Carter for Mars, right? Yeah, that John part, Carter for right? Mars. Yeah, JC, the other dude from Green Mile, his initials was JC. He was also playing a proverbial quote unquote Christ prototype. So the yes. initials, the archetype, right, of this amalgamated dreaded nigga who gets himself on the cross for the compassion, right? Who, who, he, this is a self inflicted wound. Right, yeah. of a nigga who some people consider savior. They was looking at him like now. You could play this shit up. You could play this shit up in any variation that you want. That's why it's the Black Christos mythos. I ain't talking about that nigga coming off the wall of your nana's house with the curly smooth hair. And we're not talking about the literal shit. It's figurative, and it's based Hawaiian. on astrology and geometry. Yes. So, again, that's why I opened up my lecture that day by reading the Mayan calendar tone and frequency of the day. Not right, because this is when I was speaking about calendar, calendrical systems, he who rules the autonomy. So our people already acquiesced that they are under the domination and dominion of Christian dome by what? Acquiescing to the calendar every day. Today's Tuesday. April 9th, 2024. Nigga, you just told me that everything about you is acquiescing to this paradigm. Yes. Is it not? You're saying that 2,024 years ago, quote unquote, Jesus existed 
And I'm also acknowledging the Roman God named Mars, which rules Tuesday. And I'm also acknowledging, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the which is another Roman God. And I'm also acknowledging the number nine, which is a Roman numeral. And all of that shit is tied into deities. When they're wrong. But they got to tell you, yeah, that there's only one God. And the fucking, the, the dates of the week and the months of the, the year tell you alone that they don't believe that shit. So why? Right? Keep the same energy. These niggas is talking to you and talking over your head at the same time and talking through you. And I just come along just to sprinkle some fucking common sense on the people to be like, look at this shit. Well, and then you can collapse the motherfucking so real quick. Yeah, let me just read this glyph for the day. Yesterday was white magnetic dog and the frequency tone was 170, which still equals eight. I unify in order to love, attract and loyalty. I seal the process of heart with the magnetic tone of purpose. I own power doubled, right? So that was today's glyph. You feel me? That's why I read it to open up my lecture. After I read Psalms 144 dealing with war. Right? Because it's all dealing with war. So right. I think it's a coincidence at this that he chooses peace and falls on his sword and backs out the fight that we see Zion the state pack up as well. Right. Because he said he was and having recalibrate. a war. Hold on. Hold on. He was saying that he was going through a war within, right? And the fact that, you know, something, yeah. he, you know, that war, that war that was raging within, there was a decision that was made to whereas he fell on that sword. Yes, Blue. And at the same time and on the same day in the war in Gaza, right, which we're tying in these two right. frequencies, they backed up. Right. They retreated. Too. Right. So over here, right. With this high level observation and this symbolic synchronicity, right? We're the only ones who have since 321 or 322 been tying that correlation and that connection to get on high. We saw the energy matriculate from the top and come down first in terms of who these individuals represent themselves in the battle for the six power or the six god energy in hip-hop that is also being pushed out with the fall of bad boy catholicism version of six-pointed energy into hip-hop these are the niggas that introduced you to the jesus piece these are the ends the niggas that introduced you to crass commercialism and capitalism and yes. again and if i was freestyling on that i showed you the video with where goddamn Beanie C Jigger had to channel big every time he went in the booth, he put on Big's Jesus piece. The Jesus piece, yes. Yes. Beanie Siegel just they just so, dropped the power cap. Yeah. I, I'm I'm coming with an unprecedented amount of receipts. You know what I'm saying? And it's not for praise and worship. I'm just saying that we can simplify seem complex to people who do not have the scroll and the key. But once you do. You feel me? And you got that shit on your tool belt. It's very easy to, to, to you know, unbolt this shit, unlock it and unfold it and decode it and see it for what it is. So look, J. Cole, right? Look at his gematria. I don't know if you can see it through the, through the screen. Right? He's not a 44 resonator, but I'm going to show you how many times in gematria his name equals 49 or 9. Don't sleep on this man. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Y'all, y'all have a tendency to undermine this nigga. His lyrics will not get weaker. He's going to double his power up. He's going to double his power up by the doubt, by the rejection. This nigga's on a hero journey, and he had to go through that shit. He had to sacrifice himself to get himself out of the existential battle between spirituality and materialism. He does not belong in that battle. Kung Fu Kenny and Drake. That's a spiritual versus a material battle. And it's really to save these little fucking women, these girls out here, that this nigga is unceremoniously destroying, right, on his motherfucking Yiddish shit. Running through these broads and sending them, you know what I'm saying, the most. Doing the most, predicating his motherfucking career on, you know, 
being a villain as opposed to the fact that prior to that, he knew how to speak to these women in a particular way that they allowed him in. You know what I'm saying? Now he's in the motherfucking building and they, and it's almost like, you know, they prostituting this shit. So mm. we, we'll, we'll see something spiritual go down. Let me show you. 45, right? One, two, three, right? His name equals 45 in three different ciphers. One, two, three, four, but nine. And also his shit equal 45, 18, 90, 27 in the first row, right? 108, 270, 540 in the second. 18, 18, 27, and 45 in the third row. So his shit is nine. He ain't going nowhere, right? This nigga's solid. You feel me? He had him. And what did he say? what did he say specifically that aligns him with the Mayan calendar tone frequency of the day? Right? He's giving y'all the lessons. These these artists is giving us the lessons, y'all. We're getting taught high science once again from artists in the form of entertainment in our head because what did he say? He said, yo, they want blood. And he was saying this at the same time that I was online explaining to y'all the whole shit about the blood. Right? Oh shit about why, you know, there will be blood. And the whole shit about the Kansas in the Super Bowl and right after before your old gets killed and they say that the 44 year old did it. And the number 44 means blood. But every time that the fucking Chiefs win, expect a bloodbath. Because it's the heart of America. But the fact that they won it in Vegas, dealing with the Vegas nerve, nigga, that means that the whole system is going to be impacted by this shit. So I showed you about the bloodbath shit. I showed you with Trump, how he was conjuring it up. They got a whole article written about that man and his fascination with blood. Why? Because he was the 44th person in that presidential seat not the 44th president the 44th man that sits in the seat right because grover cleveland sat in it the 24th presidency and he's attempting to do again what grover cleveland did that's how the news is reporting it so i'm just showing you these intertwined interrelated correlated connections so we can see through the confusion and understand this shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's a sweet science when you really understand it. It's not conspiracy. It's not spooky. He said, I unify in order to love, right? That's why I said we're, we're probably going to see him and Kendrick do something before we see Kendrick totally wash him up and discard him. You think so? Based on, yeah, based on what I'm observing. Yeah, yeah. Attract loyalty. You know what I'm saying? He got to do that shit to get his 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 camp in, in place because he split the camp in half. So he's gonna have to he's gonna have a civil war on his own, right? Of people that's now gonna try to comfort his neck and his throat's weakness, right? I seal the process of heart. He had to do this shit for himself. It was it was said. his heart. He couldn't sleep at night, so right? He couldn't sleep. His 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 apparatus, yes, was fucking for him. His inner universe was in turmoil. With the magnetic magnetic tone of purpose, he said, "What's it? I don't my system so I could get back to my back purpose. To purpose." Did he That's, did that. he not say That's, this? He did say that right out of his mouth. I am guided by my own power, doubled. Right? He's like, I ain't consult with my homies on this. My girl is. I I came up with this shit right here in front of y'all. Right. Right. And I'm standing in my power doing this. I'm falling on a sword and I'm showing you how much bigger of a man I could potentially be if I get out of my own way because I'm in my way right now. Did y'all want me to do based on pressure when I don't really feel this? I, I can't. I'm not unified. I'm not in coherence with this content that I put out about an artist who really has a space in my heart. I have a, I have an admiration for this individual's artistry and who we uh, So I cannot put the facade of gladiator on to give you niggas satisfaction for, for bloodthirst. Right. Because they wanted that blood. They, they wanted a body. They still do. They want it. Yeah, they still want blood. They still do. 
So you know what I'm saying? Instead of giving him war, he decided to give him peace. Instead of giving him hate on it, hold on. On a, on a cusp of that eclipse, he gave them love. Some people were able to absorb it, and some people were not. Just like Bolo said, J. Cole broke my heart. Now, when that announcement happened, and we were on our lecture on live, I jumped on it, and you know, I took the route of you know Tom Petty. You know what I'm talking about? Because that's what I do, right? So yeah, I, I, I was laughing. I was, I was hyena. I hyena laughed your ass on the on the thing. But then when I look back on it, it was cringe, blue. It was cringy because yeah. Yeah, was I had to really in realize, and yeah, and you know, it was it was it, it's just what I had to do. You know what I'm talking about? It's you know, it it was in the moment. It was like, yo, blue. Guess what? J Cole bowed out, my nigga, while you was doing your live. <laughs> but then when I look back at it, I was like, you know, this was in perfect alignment to what these brothers were teaching, bro. Like this shit was that this was the ritual. This was the quote unquote black Christos mythos. This was it in real effing time. And, and I had to sit back. And I talked to I was talking to my whiz and I was like, magic literally happened right there. Because what, like you said, I, I listened to the full speech. I didn't hear the full speech at first. I listened to his full speech and then I tied that into what you said in your opening prayer. And then I also tied that into the whole aspect of what coherence means. So I had to get it out of my system and my and get my heart a little bit lighter before that eclipse hit to deal with forgiving. I had to forgive some people. I had to deal with a little bit of coherence in my personal life. You dig what I'm saying? Whereas you have the opportunity to choose between war and peace. So, yeah, man, it's important, man. It's important. Yeah. You know, I'm not. um, I don't even know how to say it. Um, Because people be like, man, why I try to make everything seem so deep? Right. And it is because, you know, we were told, I'm in my Wesley voice, be, we were told that uh, the black man is God and his woman also. And that does not exclude nobody. And our brother, uh, is from another, but the patrilineal line patrilineal. belongs to mandates the fact that I must see God. Because if I don't, then I'm possibly not allowing the God of myself to through. Quite frankly, I will not willingly do that out of hate pettiness or the willingness to say just because the brother has a mother from another then he's less there because if he just has one percent uh, he's stupid then there's a oh, possibility yeah, for that light to always shine through huh? right so <laughs> I want to give my take, though, on some of the observations that I made in that situation, because it has to be a balance. You know what I'm saying? We can't all pile on one side and just, you know, go with the namaste, we are the world approach. You know, I do have to give a little bit of, you know, my 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 uh, my observation. And like I said, all it's right. not a heavy handed observation because. I, I've, 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 you know, I've observed it over the past 24 hours. I've sat with it and whatnot. And I'm like, you know, strategically speaking or strategy wise speaking, and we spoke about this last night, he absorbed the blow. He absorbed the blowback by falling on his sword. Right. He right. decided that the all right, this is the scenario that you that you decide when you say, you know what, I didn't I didn't sit down with my team and talk about this. I'm making this own decision on myself. Right? 
I'm going to go ahead and make a decision that could be a career killer, right? But this is one of the most difficult decisions that he probably had to make next to making that goddamn mid-ass uh, diss song that he did, right? That basically didn't sit right with him because it, it wasn't done properly. Same shit that I told you the other day. It was it was an open hand you, smack. You did. You did. It, it was a pump fake to 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 some shit where somebody came in there, open hand smacked you, and then you didn't punch them back. You just smacked them back, and it wasn't even as it, it wasn't that wasn't that pimp smack that the nigga gave. He pimped a butterfly with that one when he came and smacked you. But anyway. He decided that the that the blow that he'll take from the people by saying like act like the DJ academics, the blogs, the naysayers, the public even may lose some of his fans. He made the conscious decision that that hit right there is not as impactful as the hit that K Dot was about to hit his ass with if he didn't apologize and fall on his sword because. Kendrick Lamar can no longer hit him with a heavy-handed response because, remember, powerful people show mercy. The real, te the real, the real telltale sign of power is mercy. Is it not? It strengthens his mercy, right? So when somebody's coming at yeah, you and it's a full-out war and these niggas want to show that they dogs and whatnot, you're going to get strength. I'm going to bang you out. Until there's no, I'm a, I'm a Mike Tyson. You one round knockout, right? You you go in there and it's a dog fight. But when somebody bow, they take the knee and whatnot, and they basically acquiesce and they say, "I'm put." He said, "I'm putting my head on a guillotine." Kendrick, do what you have to do. But he said it in the public to where he's like, "I'm putting my sword and my shield down." I made a mistake. I threw a rock at Goliath. I'm gonna now. Take a knee and I'm going to put my faith. I'm going to put my, my everything in Goliath's hand. Right. So as Kendrick. On the, on the, mm -hmm. on this thing to prove that he's number one, because keep in mind the real, the real number one seat in hip hop, the real number one seat in hip hop that's going to be held by one of these big three. They're going to have to prove in warfare that they are just and they are kind. If, Drake shows that in warfare he fights the same way as them people over there that's killing women and children, his bloodline that he comes from, then he loses the people. Okay? He loses the people. So what what, what Kendrick can't really do is he can't really be heavy-handed on him. So I think the brunt of what J. Cole may feel in terms of a, 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 a hit back is going to come from the public just clowning him. But that will dissipate. That will go away. He dodged the bullet that Kendrick ultimately would have gave Again. to him. Again, I don't see them making music in the future. I see him being cut off mm -hmm. forever from a K-Dot uh, combination and whatnot. I just feel that, you know, Kendrick probably is going to be like, you know, I can't necessarily rock with you because you kind of like, you showed your you showed your your, your white side. You bit your, you bit the hand. You kind of like messed up. So instead of me crushing you, the mercy that I'll show you is that I'll just I I act like you don't even exist to me you, anymore. You gotta yeah you have to live with that asterisk. You know what I'm saying? You gotta live forever. with that L. Yeah. But um, you know, again, I I see different um for the future. I think that the biggest project of their near future would be a collaborative project where you know they they get to explain that shit out i don't think that the damage was too severe that it cannot be fixed or forged right i know that out of the three them two had a genuine relationship he just was like you over there hanging with the ops and i can't tell the difference so i'm right. shooting you got at the sun and you got caught in the middle because y'all was on that first person shooter shit together subs talking subliminally but, and you're you're touting yourself like you want to be number one. So if you are making out out you coming outside and making these proclamations fueled off of your body and niggas on features, 
that you smelling yourself and you really, I'm saying, you could slap box with the God, then let's get it, bro. Right? right. And I'm, I'm going to fight both of you niggas at once. That's how nice I am. Kung Fu Kenny. I can right. chop both and... of you niggas. So, right. hold on. And then, and then and now he's in the gamut of it. You feel me? He engages in battle. We are in airy season. Right? This is the season of competition. This is when you get it. Right? We had them place them Pisces placements and all of that leading into this eclipse. Dealing, you know, Pisces is the, the planet of music. Right. The planet of music, spirituality, and drugs. They said, nigga, we wanted to see you go dark. They wanted him to go into Hades. They wanted him to go into they wanted him to get disrespectful. They wanted him to go into um, Pluto territory. Right. And that's not the type of artist that he is. He cannot. He's like, yo, I can't go to this necessary to engage in this battle. So before I go any further, because it is not sitting well with my spirit. And you know what I mean? You got to choose Where he your from battles. Again? One could say he from North Carolina. Yeah, all you North Carolina cats, though. <laughs> <laughs> what is it nah, called? Dreamville? Yeah, don't, don't do that. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah. <laughs> There's another nigga from the Ville about to board this shit like Billy. Oh, I got balls for oh, that. Oh, hold on. Wait. Oh, I got that's balls in the for evil that. Ways. <laughs> what? That's on the song you wrote that on Evil Ways when you talk about the J. Cole shit, right? Yeah. Oh, I got balls that. for that already. You I already wrote this shit. That. You wrote that month about ago. About the bought that shit like Billy Dean. <laughs> I got that shit. Right? <laughs> I got balls for that. Oh. Yo, if you from <laughs> North Carolina, you talking greasy, bro. <laughs> yeah, nah, shout out to the, we got love for the Carolinas. Carolina stand strong. I know that the Big family love. must be conflicted. We we really might have to have a hip hop town hall meeting on this shit. How much we, we it, really the might have and the to ramifications ship. of it. Look, we really might have to get mad trees from uh Timu and Alibaba and send it to North Carolina so they could hug them shits. The whole all you <laughs> niggas hugging trees for like a <laughs> Yo, Fuck but it, nah, just turn the whole Carolina saying, to Earth Gang. Nah, 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 hold on, nah. We need one state that's for peace, though, Blue. Fuck that. We in a post-solar eclipse world. At least one of them states got to be all about peace. Let's and just it, let it gotta the be in the Carolinas South. be about... In yeah, it got to be in the yeah. South. Yeah, it's the Carolinas, so let's, man. Let's all make Carolina the peace. peace. That's the peace, Nick. We're going to deport the baby and shit. We're going to send that yeah, nigga to the Virginia baby or something. Out of there. Get the baby out now. Send that nigga to New Orleans. Yeah. Send him to the NO. He really want to be from a murder capital. He all, could, all he could the run around Wally is. World doing late tags with niggas. But yeah. Yeah. All of the lines. It should be a. <laughs> Yo, we got to deport NC all of be the last technicians to NC. Right. Yo, we going to rile them up like a migrant crisis. Let's march all the lock. All the niggas to rap copper. <laughs> Yeah, y'all gotta go to Copper Vibrations. Yeah, (laughs) Copper Vibrations that teach all y'all niggas how to, um, you know, probably read your your copper so that shit can generate the 432 hertz. And that shit is the tree, the tree hugging state. Before you go through Carolina, pull over and get a hug, (laughs) right? Right, all you niggas that get a green thumb, we sending overalls and Andre 3000 flutes to the Carolinas. And uh, and shea butter. You you the mayor is gonna be shorty that say <laughs> shea butter. She gonna be the governor. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, J Cole is the mayor, and just keep spreading peace. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying. Just stay on that time, cause we not clowning y'all. We'll come there when we gotta meditate. Yeah. Just make that shit a whole big J Jew. Make it a big fucking uh steam. Uh uh uh. Just make it hey. make it a whole spa. The whole city is a spa. Right, lock technicians it's, it's report. State. We deporting y'all to North Carolina. Yeah, get ready, Reiki yeah, masters. Ready. 
Lock we gonna send them the shoes. copper rappers. You, you know them shoes that they got <laughs> on Instagram, the shit that you could ground in the, the husband and wife. I think that they in the Carolina too. Because when you really think about it, a lot of a lot of positive energy is coming out of the Carolinas. Everybody from Atlanta that got done yeah. dirty, they went to the Carolinas to get offline and to get back into their Nama state. You know what I mean? Everybody that came to the A and realized it's too dark out here, them niggas is in the Carolinas with roosters in their front yard, just off grid type shit. So if that's the case, yeah, Ari Lennox is the governor for the Carolinas now. Just let's just do it for a year. This is some post apocalyptic shit. This po this is the post eclipse type uh, yeah. shit. You know? But look, let me let me say something, right? And this is the eerie part of it that brings it back to the Black Christos mythos, right? Yeah. The nigga Kendrick prophesized it. He did. Prophesized this on the fucking track. Right? Yeah. Um, five years ago, I think it was off the number four. He said, y'all niggas got till April 7th. <laughs> Get your fucking minds right. Mm. That's eerie, bro. Pull that up. Hey, right. yeah. He dropped the verse on this nigga's helmet and was like, "Yo, you got April seventh to get your mind right. You got to go source that yourself. I don't got it for you right now. Damn. This is my father, Black shit. Like I said, I got a book coming out. This shit is nasty. Um, you know the shit that happened with the Vatican yesterday. Unprecedented." And again, attempting to give people the delineation the so they can play boy. Oh, the the Vatican came out hard body on the anti booger shit, like hard body though. What you mean on the, on some Russian shit? shit? Um, I'm gonna tell you exactly like what Putin? they said. Okay, because they, they 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 spoke. Uh, Huh? I thought Pope Francis was turning the Vatican into a pro LBGT enclave. Yeah, but again, you know, I want I want you to listen just like I want anybody else to listen when I speak about the Vatican and I speak about uh Pope Francis very clear and succinct. Um about what I'm attempting to tell y'all. And it's like, if you keep missing this shit, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Like, what's what's the sense of it? Like, why we keep talking in circles if we're not listening to one another? The Pope is opacity that's independent of the Vatican. The Pope is operating like Akhenaten was operating in Kemet, right? And when the Pope says something, they attribute it to the Pope. You understand? When the Vatican says something that's not the authority of the Pope, they attribute it to the Vatican. There are two separate institutions in that body that are at a civil war right now. Vatican okay. declared so, transgender surgery, sur sur surrogacy, gender theory threats to human dignity. Mm, okay. The Vatican man. declared Monday that transgender surgery, surrogacy theory of threats to human dignity, breaking with the progressive approach to social issues that Pope Francis has adopted in recent years. In a 20-page document titled Infinite Dignity, the Vatican argues these practices are comparable to euthanasia or abortion as violations of God's plan for human life. Five years in the making, was signed and approved by Pope Francis, who ordered it to be written and published. In the document, the Vatican Doctrine Office formally rejects gender theory and any attempt to change one's gender for the most part while upholding the fact that men and women are biologically different. It follows that any sex change intervention threatening to the unique dignity the person has received from the moment of conception, the document reads. Uh, while transgender procedures are a grave threat, says medical intervention is allowed for those with gender abnormalities present at birth or that develop later in life. Doctors can resolve those abnormalities, the declaration. They can also address the surrogacy, saying it violates both the dignity of the surrogate mother and the child. 
the child has the right to have a fully human and artificially induced origin and to receive the gift of a life to manifest both the dignity of the giver and that of the receiver of the documents. Okay, so this statement is in line with Pope Francis recently calling for a global ban on surrogacy. The Pope has taken increasingly progressive positions on homosexuality and the wider LGBTQ plus movement by allowing priests to bestow blessings on same-sex couples and extending baptismal privileges to trans whoever. He has also called gender theory an ugly ideology for race and the distinction between men and women. The New Vatican document quotes him as likening it to ideological colonization, which he says is holding the Western world for ransom. Now, you know, you know, um, I, I, I do not believe that this was authored in the language of Pope Francis over the five years. I think that this was authored in the language of the faction of the Vatican that rolled with Benedict, the conservatives, and they just got France and shit. You know what I'm saying? But they're preparing to scrub all of his policies when he transitions like they did in Kim and Akhenaten. So that's all we're seeing. They just you know, telling you, look, just like when they did the repudiation of the Doctrine of Discovery, the Vatican explicit that was Pope Francis' opinion, and that does not reflect the opinion of the Vatican. That is not a Vatican-based opinion for them to repudiate the doctrine of discovery. They said that he was speaking on his own accord. So this mad shit that they want to remove on the way. Right? right. Just like they did in Kemet with Akhenaten. Right. And again, he's also battling against the prophecy of what's called, they saying the prophecy of the last Pope deals with uh, Peter the Roman of which they're saying that that's who he's supposed to be, right? Because Pope Francis finds St. Francis Assisi, whose name, whose last name originally was uh, Pretoria, Peter. So St. Francis, the nigga who they named San Francisco after, right? The, 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 the progenitor of the stigmata, Francis Assisi. Okay. So interesting things. I'm just, you know, again, um, bearing witness just to things that are going on with these institutions as we shift into these different ages. You're going to see the impact on the institutions that represent old era epochs. You know, the um, Christian institutions are very much Piscean. You know what I'm saying? And they rever very much represent the draconian aspects of what those belief systems, you know, entail. And during these changing times, if these institutions are not the changes, that's where you identify first the breaks in society, you know, um, things fall into pieces like bridges and shit like that. Right. You're going to see these institutions crumble first and lose the social order. The social order is going to fall to the wayside when larger than life institutions like the banking system falls the medical system falls you know media uh, these religious systems fall media is going to fall if it's not and already then, falling and then right and then compromising of infrastructure continuous structure also they came out with the uh, settlement yesterday for east palestine I ironically enough you know what I'm saying? I think they settled yeah, preface with, with East, Preface what that is for the people who don't know. So February 3rd of 2023, which 23 of last year, there was a um, train derailment in East Palestine, Ohio. Norfolk, Suffolk was the train company responsible for the derailment of toxic chemicals that created a and Ohio and all connected waterways. Um, they d damn near destroyed the, uh, you know, the, the innocence, the sanctity of the same town that was used to film a Netflix movie about train derailments a year prior. So, Stein, 
would be tantamount over here, right, to East Palestine that's over in Gaza, because Gaza is on the eastern shore of Palestine. Hence the fact that there's a West Bank in Palestine, right? And the East nigga is Gaza next to the water, just like the East Coast of New York is on it. That's where East Palestine is. So we were able to stay last year with a pillar prophecy in February leading up to the lecture. Yo, y'all niggas need to keep your eyes on the Middle East because if they're doing this in East Palestine and the U.S. and covering it up, and it was mad train derailments where they was letting Tim, Kim, toxic. I know from being, a, let's say, like a wartime reporter, right? I started mm-hmm. my shit during 9-11, so I I had to report on the whole, goal, you know, um, all of the shit that was going on in Iraq and Afghanistan, and I know about white phosphorus. I know about all of the chemical weapons that the youth that they do in war when they go when they when they when they impact civil uh, civilian populations like they did in Iraq. Right. Right. They was utilizing white phosphorus. So you know the play. You know anything that they use, they give to the IDF. Anything that the IDF use and work, they give to the U.S. That's how that shit goes. One is the satellite of the other. It's up to you to figure out which one is which. <laughs> but yeah, so we 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 knew the correlations and the connections based on us what being symbol literate enough, looking at East Palestine, Ohio, understanding this on the low line, knowing oh that shit, that's an active frequency, you know. Ross Ben been telling us about that, so you like yeah that thing is gonna go around the world right because it's on the right. low line. That's how you do geomancy. That's how you do these uh, geo r- rituals, right? That's the land, same way you understand, right? The, the same way that there was an earthquake in Lebanon, New Jersey, and it was it happened, and then it, and then it was overlooked, and it went on. In about the year's time, please make no mistake about it: the Lebanon over there will be in the news for, if not a natural calamity then a nuclear or some type of attack that will be very devastating okay that's just how that thing works real quick let's take a commercial y'all let's go to the replay of this lecture that we're talking about that me and blue pill is talking about this available for everybody who did not get the actual lecture the replay ladies and gentlemen is on ktl university okay ktluniversity.com um i will drop the link in the chat room and i will drop it on the gram as well that's where we're live on both buildings shout out to everybody and uh <clears throat> on both of those broadcast platforms um ktluniversity.com the link is in the bio on the gram and it's pinned and whatnot ktl university on uh the the link is in the description on youtube all right uh make sure y'all tap in and get the replay we do have um an offer for everybody in the building who 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 makes the decision to get your replay and whatnot you will have access to our quote-unquote bundle pack all right that we was able to bless everybody that pulled up for vulture culture they were able to get the bundle pack with our kibalon four different lectures that we've done over the years and whatnot these are straight up prophecies um information and when you go back to it even if you saw the lecture a year or two ago you will have a better overstanding understanding understanding because like the good brother says these are quote unquote call forever lectures they don't they don't age they only get better through time okay so the bundle pack that we have is illustrious illumination prophetic prophecies somatic and the illness to bring the static and receipts and sweet technique all right you will have access to that the first 44 people who get the replay that's yours for free that comes with the quote-unquote purchase all right you will have access to the bundle pack with me and the good brother al kibalon and vulture culture is what's available and uh yeah man it is it's, it's going down um i'm very very proud of what we did I look forward to doing more things, you know, um, but me and you, we have an album that that we're working on, that we're premiering, that, you know, is on 420. So 
we're focused on getting that thing uh in front of the people and whatnot because that's our baby right there we've been nurturing this work of art for a while so another link that i'm going to share is um i'm date we're debuting our website all right and we have the 48 pillars of power right here okay so we're doing our pre-orders for the 48 pillars of power and this is our website all right where you can find new music all right you could even find the video that we have for 48 well, power and you could also find other quote unquote um you know um projects that we've done throughout the years for people who may not be familiar with uh red and blue the link for that as well is also in the bio let me put that in the chat so y'all can have this all right we are going to be premiering a video today on this channel for everybody to see right before we end the show we will be premiering the world premiere world premiere 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 of money world world world, world 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 bring back fire fridays more fire yeah, fridays yeah, yeah we're gonna I, do a poll it's coming trust me yeah more coming. fire we're gonna do we're gonna bring back more fire it has to come back yeah nah. We had that was it has ooh. to come back. I, yeah, it has. I've been that coming was, across some dope lyricists and dope artists. Yeah, like we we got to bring that back. That's without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah, that's classic block talk album like reviews, right there. all of that. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. We got to bring that. We definitely got to bring that back. But yeah, uh -huh. let's get it. Yes, indeed. So, um, yeah, uh, you want me to bust the video right now? Would you, I mean, other, you know what I'm saying? What's your thoughts? I'm trying to do that again? What yeah, you, yeah, what, I mean, what are you waiting for? You building up? You got something else to share or something? Nah, nah. I was going to drop it at the end, but we'll do that right now. We'll get that out the way. Yeah, right? it went to the end. Yeah, get that shit out the way. Yeah, I need that shit to get outside. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're going to get it season. outside. Let's go. Um, Yes, 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 yes. DMX died on this day. Man, I got a ball. Oh, he, he did. did. Yeah. He did. Yes, he he did. did. Yeah. April yeah. 9th. This is the date of uh, Prince Philip 9 today. And DMX transitioned as well after his um his bout. Uh, okay. Stack. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, I want to present to you the premiere of Money and Power off of the phenomenal, phenomenal uh, demonstration that me and Blue Pill have called the 48 Pillars of Power. You know what I'm talking about? That shit dope. Y'all going to be very dope. pleased with us. You know what I mean? Make sure y'all go and get the pre-sale going. We are going to be doing pre-sales starting now. You know what I mean? This album. It's phenomenal. Let's go. Money and power. We have money stacked. And we had people that uh, all they would do all day was count money. Full time at money count. Yeah. And as personally distasteful as I find secret bank accounts and diverted funds. And as the Navy would say, this happened on my watch. Shout out to Doughboy Television. I'm bearing witness to these Jews trying to break the rules. They take the news, forsake the truth, and try to make us fools. The paper used to fake the news when they make a move. They hate to lose creator rules like every shade of blue. And we don't hate the Jews, we hate the views. Then we forsake them dudes, incapable, we bank with Jews. Debate with who that paper move in every state of proof. But make a super Jacobs crew, that's how they make a move. And they've been eating off a plate of food. Since Eden was the place to move, leave no trace of clues. The paper trails, they make the mail and make the race for bail. They hate the fail, their faces pale, but they paper blue. And we ain't shitting on you misinformed. I seen the clip this morning of the kid that's gone with a missing arm. This shit is wrong, using kids as pawns. Pistols drawn, special laws, they want to drop a bigger bomb. No! no. All that money and power, is it bumps to the powder? Who's the one that's in power? In the coming of hours, even sons is devoured. Shit don't run like no coward, yeah, the summer is ours. You louder than blunts with the sour. 
The hood is off, the fangs is out, the hood is lost. They banging out, collision the cost, they ranging out. Like Ricky Ross, some things is out. They clip the boss, his brains is out. The stick was tossed, extend them out. All that money and power, it's a bumps to the powder. Uh -huh. The ones that's in power, in the coming of hours. Even sons is devoured. Shit don't run like no power. Yeah, the summer was ours. All that money and power, it's a bump to the powder. Uh -huh. The ones that's in power, in the coming of hours. Even sons is devoured. Shit don't run like no coward. Yeah, the summer was ours. The day when the messiahs came, y'all was trying to catch a flight on a liar's plane. Yeah, the fire flames. Shit is burning like the liar dames. From that David and Goliath fame, God bless all them sweet Sadies. God bless all them sweet babies. Cerebus escape from Hades. They killing all them babies. They killing all them ladies. The Philistines crying like they Billy Jean. The Philly teens waking up to killing scenes. We living in the prophecies of Philistines. Them niggas popping perkies won't live to see the day of the turkey giveaway. Just the other day we had dirty giveaways. Pour out a little liquor. I'm one of them 50 niggas pock implored. You one of them 50 niggas pock ignored. Rock is raw. It's shocking that we had to do shock it for. Just to shock your whore. Scarface at the table with the block of raw. Bobby and the Whitney come and lock your jaws. Pock is poor. Now them pockets sore. We living in dystopian, the prophet saw. I ain't gonna hold you niggas, we told you niggas, you better stop fucking with the pills, they silencing the lambs like they buffalo bill, more kills in the buffalo fields, or the buffalo kids with the scorpion chills, high marks like the fields on the buffalo bills, I'm standing at the gates of a ruined state, a congruent state, when I spoke on this shit, they said that I was spewing hate, so what's the juice of late, now that we doing great, please excuse my face, Ugh gas chambers every story has a chapter this the last chamber yeah i sat by the doors and all of them spooks and spooky they addicted to that soft life soft white years giving pookie this is new jack city and years giving keisha and suzuki i just do the right thing and they say it's giving mookie the way that blue be flexing they say it's giving tukey you do know Talking about the boss that gets you lost. Joggers find your corpse. Yeah, you dripping, but them coroners, they had to hit the frost. Many think that I'm using Henny Sink, but it's just a Henny drinks. And it's Zaz I got bore. It's Gully and it's Gaza at war. Yeah, that's my task of law. Huh. We ate the shrooms with eight maroons and Jamaican goons. In Great Saloon, we shaking rooms, watching nature bloom. They make my dues by lakes and pools in the Great Lagoon. I made it cool to break the news and some gator shoot. We breaking rules, we was late to school. It's April Fool's. America is ruled by the faith in my compatible election to act like America is still being ran. But it's nobody, it's still by nobody in the fucking office. You know what I'm saying? It's just the old shit happening. So it's like, Bullshit. it's almost like they left, but they ain't gonna tell the people that they left. They about to go build some futuristic cities and other places. You know what I mean? And Americans think that they still got their agenda over here. We left this shit to y'all. Kind of like what Obama said, that right. wouldn't the more dangerous thing be nobody running this shit? And right. he left this motherfucker. Right. And they like, so, actually, we don't want to fuck with America no more. Right. We're outside. We're about to build these other futuristic right. cities over here. Right. Y'all need to have that shit. Right. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, yes, 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 that is it right there. That is the Money and Power premiere. You know what I'm talking about? Make sure y'all go on this website that we have, the 48 Pillars of Power, Black, uh, Black Cloud Entertainment. Banzoogle. That is our site that you could get um, our whole collection. We got the Black Cloud collection. That's the name of our label, Black Cloud, all right, because we exist in the cloud. You know what I'm talking about? We 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 run this shit from the clouds, y'all. You know what I'm talking about? The gods is in the clouds. So Black Cloud Collection, you got the Red Summer, you got Twin the Album, Scorpion King CD, Red Opals. We've been doing this thing. You know what I'm talking about? And we even got more stuff that we didn't put on there. But um, and you play know, that shit you, again. yeah, play that shit again. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So I'm just giving them a glimpse of the album, the, of the website right here. Um, we are considered to be direct to customer. Do not go to Spotify to look for us. 
Don't go and look for us on none of these slave channels. You know what I'm talking about? Don't go and look for us on none of these quote unquote uh these 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 plantations. That's disrespectful. You know what I mean? We don't exist on the plantations. We not signed to no plantations. So that's not where we're gonna be at. We'll be right here with with the people. So pull up on us and come and rock with us because we rocking with y'all. You know what I mean? So we're gonna run that one more again. Money and stand. power. Talk black. We had people. Yeah, the summer's ours. Mm -hmm. Summer's ours. Let's Full be clear. Money count. Shout out yeah. to Jay and Cole and shit. It's done. So find secret yeah, bank bring that real feeling back. Well, the Navy would say, this happened on my watch. I'm bearing witness to these Jews trying to break the rules. They take the news, forsake the truth, and try to make us fools. The paper used to fake the news when they make a move. They hate to lose creator rules like every shade of blue. And we don't hate the Jews, we hate the views. Then we forsake them dudes, incapable, we bank with Jews. Debate with who that paper move in every state approved. But make a super Jacob's crew, that's how they make a move. And they've been eating off a plate of food. Since Eden was the place to move, leave no trace of clues. The paper trails, they make the mail and make the race for bail. They hate to fail, their face is pale, but they paper blue. And we ain't shitting on you misinformed. I seen the clip this morning of the kid that's gone with a missing arm. The shit is wrong, using kids as pawns. Pistols drawn, special lost, they wanna drop a bigger bomb. No! All that money and power is it bumps to the powder. Who's the one that's in power in the coming of hours? Even sons of the bowie. Shit don't run like no coward. Yeah, the summer was ours. You loud and it blunts with the sour. The hood is off, the fangs is out, the hood is lost. They banging out, collision the cost, they ranging out. Like Ricky Ross, some things is out. They clip the bosses, brains is out. The stick was tossed, extend them out. <laughs> All that money and power, it's a bumps to the powder. Uh -huh. Who's the one that's in power? In the coming of hours, even sons is devoured. Shit don't run like no power. Yeah, the summer was ours. Huh. All that money and power, it's a bumps to the powder. <laughs> Who's the one that's in power? In the coming of hours, even sons is devoured. Shit don't run like no power. Yeah, the summer was ours. The day when the messiahs came, y'all was trying to catch a flight on a liar's plane. Get yeah, a fire flames, shit is burning like the liar dames. From that David and Goliath fame, God bless all them sweet Sadies. God bless all them sweet babies. Cerebus escape from Hades. They killing all them babies. They killing all them ladies. The Philistines crying like they Billy Jean. The Philly teens waking up to killing scenes. We living in the prophecies of Philistines. Them niggas popping perkies won't live to see the day of the turkey giveaway. Just the other day we had 30 giveaways. Parade a little liquor. I'm one of them 50 niggas pocket implored. You one of them 50 niggas pocket ignored. Rockets roar. It's shocking that we had to do shocking for. Just to shock your whore. Scarface at the table with the block of roar. Bobby and the Whitney come and lock your jaws. Pockets poor. Now them pockets sore. We living in dystopian, the prophet saw. I ain't gonna hold you niggas, we told you niggas, you better stop fucking with the pills, they silencing the lambs like they buffalo bill, more kills in the buffalo fields, or the buffalo kids with the scorpion shields, high marks like the fields on the buffalo bills, I'm standing at the gates of a ruined state, a congruent state, when I spoke on this shit, they said that I was spewing hate, so what's the juice of late, now that we doing great, please excuse my face, Ugh gas chambers every story has a chapter this the last chamber yeah i sat by the doors and all of them spooks is spooky they addicted to that soft life soft white years giving pookie this is new jack city and years giving keisha and suzuki i just do the right thing and they say it's giving mookie the way that blue reflexing they say it's giving tookie you do know Talking about the boss that gets you lost. Joggers find your corpse. Yeah, you dripping, but them coroners, they had to hit the frost. Many think that I'm using Henny Sink, but it's just a Henny drinks. And it sounds like a boy. Or it's Gully and it's Gaza at war. Yeah, that's my task of law. Huh. We ate the shrooms, we ate maroons and Jamaican goons. In Great Saloon, we shaking rooms, watching nature bloom. They make my juice by lakes and pools in the Great Lagoon. I made it cool to break the news and some gator shoot. We break the rules, we was late to school. It's April Fool's. America is one of my favorite, like we had an election to 
act like America is still being ran. Right. It's nobody, it seems like nobody in the fucking office. So like, you know what I'm saying? It's just the old shit happening. So it's like, oh, it's almost like they left, but they ain't gonna tell the people that they left. They about to go build some futuristic cities and other places, you know what I mean? And Americans think that they still got their agenda over here. We left this shit to y'all. Kind of like what Obama said, that right. wouldn't the more dangerous thing be nobody running this shit? And right. they left this motherfucker. Right. And they like, so, actually, we don't want to fuck with America no more. Right. We're outside. We might have built these other futuristic right. cities over here. Right. Y'all need to have that shit. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that part. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all. Y'all. That part. That part. And just to keep y'all going, you know what I'm talking about? Because it don't end. It's just beginning. We got something else coming right after that. The train that asked you be on Alaska boosters. The block is so sturdy. The Glock is so dirty. They shot it for 30 like Bot 30. They popping the perky at yeah, Bot 30. 30. Million Lincolns just to free the slaves. Slave, slave, slave. The ships are sinking, sinking and it's still free to wave. Way the wave. Hello, hello. Going to December. Going to December. Going to December. Going to December. Going to December, Richfield, Rich. the new member of Bricks, agenda was flipped, beef of Vendetta, all of my vendors is rich. Ah, <laughs> we ain't playing, man. I'm trying to explain to you, man. You know what I'm talking about, man? Yeah, Black Cloud Entertainment. Make sure y'all take that trip over there. Go and get the quote-unquote pre-sales for the 48 Pillars of Power. Show your support. Go ahead and snatch up the pre-sales. It is live. We are ready to begin to serve the people. I promise you, I shit you not. Me and Blue Pill have been working arduously behind the scenes, cooking up, making a bona fide, certified classic. I shit you not. We not playing with these niggas. We are coming like we got to pay the rent. We coming with a vengeance with this hip hop, this God hop, and these bars and whatnot. Yeah, this um Spell it for them. All of my vendors is rich. All of my vendors is rich. Spell it for them. I'm talking about, yeah, wait up a minute, bro. Black Cloud. B L A C K K L O W D. You know what I'm talking about? B L A C K K L W O D. But here's the link. Got to click the link. So let me drop the link. The link is in the description and the K -L -O -W -D. link is right here. K-L-O-W-D. Yes, K-L-O-W-D-E-N-T dot B-A-N-D-Z-O-O-G-L-E, com. It is pinned right there. All you got to do is copy and paste it if you're on the gram. And if you're on IG, I mean, if you're on the tube, it is right there in the description. All you got to do is click on it and you good this is black cloud that's our label all right we not signed we signed to we signed ourselves okay black cloud is the label um we gonna be signing people after we finish doing what we got to do so just look out for that all of my um talented brothers and sisters and whatnot but black cloud entertainment that's where you'll find the collection and whatnot the 48 pillars of power the digital album pre-sale is up and live um, we will be releasing another video, another movie and whatnot. Um, and, but we got to let this yeah. money and power cook first. Let me say something to, to the haters, you know, and that, you know, telling somebody when they should rap, that's like telling me that because I'm almost 50, I shouldn't be going to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was fleeting in my fitness in my 19s and my 20s and you know what I'm saying but I still go to the, the gym to break through I still do go to the gym for conditioning I still go to the gym to remind myself of the, of the relationship between my mind and my body being with the booth you know what I'm saying we will never put the microphone down I, I actually um I feel that you can get more across in a song than you can in a lecture you know what I'm saying you can condense your lecture into visual and audio formats that live forever. And 
initially. Before I looked at the election, nigga, Karis One was my teacher. So it's very imperative that, yes, we utilize the medium of music to get back to teaching. You feel me? And there's no age limits or restrictions on that. I'm going to be making music until going into the grave. And I'm I'm, assim- I'm set where I could be making music from beyond the grave. So for anybody that wants to put a limit on that shit or a ceiling on it, or you think that this is an age sport, you know, feel me? I, I would really ask you to, you know, re- recalibrate that frame of thought and those references and, and really see this shit, you know what I'm saying? This is a lifestyle. I mean, you know, yeah. that's some shit that you say when you, you know, you, you say that on and 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 a late night show or something. I, that's not even a conversation to be had right now. Henceforth, why the name of the album was called "The Pillars Got Something to Say," and you just you talk with your art. You feel me? You talk with your art. You know what I mean? You don't even have to open and say a word. You just become an artist and do your art. Art has no explanation to it. You smell me? Art don't got no explanation. No artists don't talk like that. You know what I'm saying? Artists don't have to talk. Artists just do their art. So I don't even know. You you know, I don't know who you're talking to or who you, you know, you might just be talking in a mirror or you just throwing it out there verbally to say, you know, you just addressing whatever. But I wouldn't even entertain. I wouldn't even part my lips to even explain how I do my art. That's like you going to the gym and having a conversation before you pick up the right. weights. Just pick the weights up. We cooking. And it's here. The pillar season is here, y'all. Post solar eclipse leading up to 420. The big day is 420. That's in 11 days. That is going to be a performance that we'll be doing an album release at the spot called Industry. If y'all ever, if y'all went to the spot on March 9th with Brother Rich, we're going to actually put some footage up about that event nobody really seen that outside of the people that were there live but um that place is a is a freaking movie it is a it's, it's the one of the best it's the best event space in the whole atlanta right it's the best event space yes. in all of the eight you know what i'm talking about and we'll be doing our we'll be doing um an album release there i believe we got brother rich as the host that is on 420. We're also going to be releasing our new strain. We're also going to be releasing mer- a merch line. And we're also going to be releasing an ebook. So, like I say, we working. You know what I mean? Uh, the winter time was the time to prepare for where we at right now, right? For everybody who was talking about the eclipse and everything. Theoretically speaking, really, the eclipse is about you popping out today and moving forward to all of the shit that you was putting on during the winter. Like, where's your plans that have come into fruition? Did you use yesterday as a launch point? Did you use the eclipse to push you into this quote unquote? That's why I, de- that's why I, I debuted my video last night in alignment with the energy rather than these long ass lectures. What happened to the action? What happened to the action? Motherfuckers be talking, but they don't got no action to push the shit that they talk. So where's your motherfucking launch at? Where, where, did you solidify it on that day? It doesn't matter about if it was right. No. Did you solidify? Did it go down in history on April the 8th that you launched something? The same time that everybody was talking about the world was going to end or whatever the speculation is, you got to launch. You got to act on it. You got to push. You have to come outside. So we outside, bro. We are outside and we not going inside. We outside until they tell us to go inside. So we hear volume one, 12 songs. We got a book to come with it. We got videos to go with it. Movies. We got merch. We might even drop a toy on you niggas. So stop playing and let's get to building as a community and as a collective. I don't want to talk about J. Cole and Kendrick no more. I don't want to talk about the new big three is me, Blue Pillar, and 360 on this album, God damn it. That's the new big three. That's how I'm feeling, and that's where I'm going with it. I'm going to be very aggressive leading up into the 20th because we in Aries, and I don't feel like hugging a tree. I feel like talking my shit and getting into my bag because that's what it's on right now. You niggas are so timid that y'all allowed, not you particularly, but we allowed the media to extract cortisol and put us in these fear bags and then nothing happens and then we're just supposed to carry on in life 
and continue just, you know, wait for the next propaganda. And I'm and, and I'm like, no, I'm like, no, I'm snatching my energy back. I'm taking this solar activation and we are going to be aggressive and we're going to disrupt some shit and we're going to make some history. And we're not going to keep looking around and thinking about what what's the new victimization concept that we're going to roll with today. That's not what I'm on. That's not what I'm on. Yo, them Let's six win. Billy. They made six billy off of whipping up propaganda. This one. Woo. <clears throat> the collective economic six, windfall of, of, of the collective economic windfall of cities that were in the path of totality, which dealt with tourism, right? Collectively, they walked away with six billion dollars. They sold millions of dollars of glasses. Millions. But remember, like even in Arkansas, I had, I had two situations lined up for us in Arkansas. They wanted thirty five hundred dollars for parking spots for you to pull up in Arkansas and spot for you to make the observation of the eclipse on it. So imagine what they was charging for Airbnb, beads, hotels, rooms, oh. and what the restaurants and all of them was making, right? And all of these non-melanated communities made a windfall. Once again, over dealt with, you know, the sun, something that we're supposed to be tethered to and, and figuring out, you know, anytime that that shit pop up, it's like, oh, we know how to set our, you know what I mean? We know how right. to set the barbecue up for this one. But, yeah. Blue, you, you know, know what happened? People, like you said, paralyzed in fear based on media like you know i sat in front of the tv one day and i got it i was like oh they they're trivializing these people with confusion right which ultimately leads to fear and again we're at a place in 24 we're out to the news to look for instructions they're turning up to talking heads on broadcast news to tell them something that's beneficial for them they still falling for that I mean, and I think that they're going to, yeah, I, I don't think that that will ever change. I think it's, it's it's habitual at this point. It's like muscle reflex to some of the elders. And, um, you know, but what we do know is that the younger generation, the TikTok generation, and there's a, there's a, there's, they call it generation alpha, I believe, right? They are sourcing the majority yeah. of their information from new media and they are impervious. Yeah, they, they are almost allergic to Dan Rather and the old media. They can't yeah, even yeah, sit yeah, down. Nah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the These ADD niggas start kicking my, in. Um, yeah, they they be in TikTok and they in their kitchen and shit. You know, drop go Google search and research and be like, oh shit, these niggas is on point. They're not even making this shit up. Like they're not proliferating with um fake news on TikTok. A lot of that shit is uh verifiable other than dr sabi's son's got 150 years in jail <laughs> where did that come from they, that's the new me they ai generate every week it's a new version of it they ai generate a new a new image and somebody's always inboxing me be like is this true I'm right like, with an orange jumpsuit Google search yeah with the orange jumpsuit and it's all ai generated but a lot of other news you know, deep shit. When I say deep, it's like government documents, research, shit that's right underneath our nose that you don't know until you start doing the research. You be like, oh shit, they be in a living room, my nigga. Hey, homie just came back from doing mechanic work and he's on talking about classified documents and that shit is verifiable. Right. So, and it's one yeah, minute. Dude. I have a whole new and it's one minute. So I got a whole new approach in terms of respect and reverence that I have for people who are catching these strays, these downloads, because I don't even know where they're coming from. You know what I'm saying? They have become a source um, for news for, for a parched throat like mine, because I can't, I can't get it from, I can't find no information from mainstream media that satisfies my thirst for information, for knowledge, for inquiry just not telling the news like that no more right so these social media apps have become you feel me these, these forums where 
we get introduced to all kind of interesting shit. And it's coming by way, like you said, of these generations of children of, that are tuned to a different frequency because they're pulling information from a different spectrum, a different quadrant of space. No, no, blue. They're pulling these it from are our children. Of space. Yes, but these are these children are uh, offspring. They are the progeny of this movement. Those are our babies. We birthed them. They 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 turned on. They they turned on because we turned them on. Not we particularly. This is not ego talking. I'm just speaking about the collective energy on this planet that has quote unquote created. You know, like like uh, Al Kibalon was breaking down about DNA. Their DNA has been activated because the DNA of this planet has been active. The planet has awakened. So, yes, the alpha, the generation alpha, like I've said before, and I'm going to keep saying it again. As a parent, these children, the progeny, they need us to build something for them. They are going to be OK. They're going to carry this shit, but they need us to be carrying it. They need us to be active. Mm -hmm. we, there's no days off after this because why would there be a day off from the parents when the children clearly are activated and more are being what? activated by the day? So it's like they're going to carry it. The, they got this shit. They, they get it. They've been in school and they've been receiving levels of download that as adults you were getting 2010, 11 and 12. If the difference is you had to do six hours of Bobby. They're able to do about six minutes of Bobby. And they might not have as much as that. information as you have in your six hours, but you could only remember maybe six minutes of that six hour lecture moving forward. Now, you know that, what I'm talking about? That part, of right. that. Yeah. So for this uh, amazing bill, you know, opportunity once again to be heard and seen follow up on some of these things that were introduced through that powerful lecture but family um that is now a canon of information that is going to create a, a vibration an oscillation in the frequency all happening when we get together and drop information especially when we start hitting them 44s so check that lecture out so you can properly do the knowledge and there was a lot of information dropped. A lot. A whole Paradigm lot. shifting. Mentally recalibrating some things like Akib Balan did an amazing segment. You did an amazing segment as well. And um you did as well. You feel me? I'm very yeah, I'm confident in, in what I offered. I know I know it was paradigm shifting. I I I know I know something happening on purpose to connect with. That you live know, that you did. And, and I see. I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We got the brother Keys in the building, and that live that you and that brother did yesterday, yes. that was that was legendary. You feel it me? Was. That was it, legendary. It was, again, um, that opportunity to get to speak to, you know, the people at that moment when they were getting ready to cross over into the threshold of them preparing for this monumental event, you know what I'm saying? It's the level of leadership, you know, that um, I'm I'm very honored. The calm and the resolve, like you said, the fear campaign was at an all-time high and they were spreading through the people. You feel me? And sometimes you just need a good talking to, a good straightening with the family that reminds you who the fuck you are. You know what I'm saying? And look in the goddamn mirror for answers and stop looking to these talking heads. They're not speaking to you. <laughs> they're speaking about things that have to do with you that they're never going to outwardly come out and tell you, yeah, you lit, right? If it's something that benefits you, they're going to invert it, like everything else that they have inverted. So, yeah, man, um, I'm thankful, you know, once again for these mentality and real time to be heard when we have something that needs to be said. You know what I mean? And the people... I gather they took that information and were able to really do something in, in the space of preparing, you know, grounding, yeah. getting back into nature. I went into nature, you know, bore witness to some amazing things. And I was just in awe of the creator 
you know, whatever's responsible for these celestial phenomena, uh, again, it don't mean it don't make me lose my consciousness and I'm not uh, worshiping anything outside of myself. I'm acknowledging I'm also made up of that intelligent design. I'm acknowledging that I'm part of this mathematical ecosystem that is perfect. I'm I'm not acknowledging the fact that I'm perfect if I looked at myself as a mathematical equation. Right? I got these 10 integers. You feel me? My body pop properly when I had all 32 jibs. It's like, yeah, maybe I should just seek perfection in things that are perfect. You feel me? And then everything else starts falling in place. So again, these are the things that just remind me of you know, my, my participation in creation and reverence for creator. And it makes me more respectful of the process. So that makes me more presently present. What makes me a better version of myself because I'm more conscientious of my thoughts, my actions, and my intentions. And it's a new moon, y'all. So you still need to be intentional with your actions. You should, right? What do you want from this universe? The etymology of the word God means to invoke and pour libations. Now that's according to the to the dictionary. You could take it up with them, but they say that's the definition of the word. So invoke under new moons is when you invoke, right? It's when to the universe and tell them exactly what you want in a very firm uh, language. In a very firm home. Right? The the, yes. the universe does not respond to weak shit. It doesn't. You gotta be firm. You feel me? Especially during every season. And again, not to take nothing from the brother J. Cole. You know what I mean? But you have to be firm and affirmative. You feel me? <laughs> this airy season. You have to show up for combat, for war, for competition. And oftentimes it's just you fighting your weaker self. Mm. You know? But that brother made a very key game to his weaker self. So he had to kill that weaker self in order to get back to his power, which is where he asked the people to have the patience with him. And he, he called on creator to return him back into the path of his purpose because he felt that, that he deviated profound. that shit and went into darkness by right, following about where his destination is. Right. Can nobody tell you where you're destined to go? And if you find yourself on the wrong track, can you double it back? Can you retrograde yourself in the midst of a retrograde to recalibrate your trajectory to get to the place where you leave? Because losing one day on that path may offset the ultimate destination. Mm. Let's That's show some grace and compassion, y'all. Let's show some grace and compassion. Yeah, he didn't serve it up the way that you wanted to, but you could turn a goddamn TV on and go see some IDF and see you feel me? Uh, diabolical warfare. Yeah, you war is me? ugly. And we all know, yeah. And or, or wait till you see Tyson and, and, and fucking Jake Paul. But we know we want to see Kendrick and Drake, right? So let's keep that energy for, for what it needs, right? And let's understand that my man J. Cole, he just personified this aspect of JC. Now, what did I tell you? I, I said in the lecture... Or I might have said it when I was speaking in the key. I said it somewhere. I even said it yesterday. The motif is flawed. So if we're attempting to say the mold, the messianic mold of this day and age is flawed because the messianic mold deals with a, a bloody savior, a nigga who played the victim and got left bloody on the cross. So the idea of messianic force in this society that we live in and got bloodied at the end of the day by mere mortals. How can God take get taken down like that? So James Small said, don't make comparisons to Heru. Don't make comparisons to Shango. He said you cannot utilize right Jesus as an archetype to antiquated messianic forces and saviors. Because this modern day version of this concept of a Christ is a flawed concept and mm. the, the Messiah of the people looks weak. So for J. Cole to personify a J.C. energy and fall on his sword and put him, we have not seen a 
triumphant aspect of a messiah in this paradigm to identify one as such. All these niggas got to die, right? You got to get nailed to the cross in order to be a Christ. Mm. Right? You, you don't listen. You don't get the narrative that this time zone, this time reality is does not prescribe under that. You got to wait to fucking tribulations of Armageddon years of suffering in order to see the victory allegedly mm. so we live under the dark cloud and the cover weak shit they they look even in the prophecy they, they're gonna build a temple the third temple just for the antichrist to come in there and sit on be christ and rule for a thousand years or some shit like that and then that marks tribulation and armageddon then christ gotta come back with motherfucking um like all of this shit and until he do that, all of the people who follow him still exist in fucking hell or purgatory waiting to be re redeemed. Nigga, heaven is empty according right. to the narrative until that shit happens and he shit. Right. And it's like, if y'all sitting around for that, Indeed. You're gonna be waiting for Drake forever the same way. If you're waiting on the second coming, like you niggas waiting on Drake's response. <laughs> right. <laughs> so let them know, Blue, where they can find you. Um, because we about to sign up out of here. We at the two hour mark. Let them know where you could be found and where they could tap in with yeah, you. Yeah, um at at Blue Pillar 44. Um that's right. I'm Stepping out this time, and I'm putting these thoughts into a formatted book. So the Black Crystals Mythos will be formulated into a book. You can find that Morpheus.com, and we spell Morpheus M O O R P H E U S Meta, like the platform that we on. This dot com. That's the presale for the Black Crystals Mythos book. It could be dropping, I believe, in May. I think I'm gonna drop it on BIG's bone. Right. Oh, when we go into Gemini dealing with communication and that Jehudi uh you know energy. So goldwater.com, right? Genius, right, and get on that goal. Uh, you know, you can eclipse the brain fog in your own mind to get some clarity. G O L D E D R. All right, cosmicdust.com for the jewels. C O Z M I K D U S T dot com uh, jewelry, the trip, you feel me? Stone, all of that good stuff, blue stones, all that good stuff. All right, yeah, that's it. For now we got you know more stuff coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, y'all gonna need to. Yeah, we we need some commercials. For, you got a lot of shit going on. We're gonna need you to just be a, a sponsor at the end of the day, bro. Like, you got yeah, and, and, yeah, the like, food pies and all of that. Yeah, so, yeah, a lot of more yeah. stuff coming. Yeah, more stuff. Yeah, we just have that. We gotta have a, we gotta have a sponsorship meeting in the because that's like yeah. eight commercials to open up the show with. But uh, yeah, shout out to all of my sponsors and all of my brands out there. We actually um, you know, um, hit us up. Matter of fact, hit us up. The email is right there. Come and hit us up. Um, but yeah, Blue, I appreciate you, and we will definitely get up with you um once again stay dangerous you know what i'm talking about indeed and we'll see you very soon all right my god yeah peace. all right peace and love you feel me so with that being said family um once again ktl university is where the replay for sunday's lecture is uh we do have a deal for everybody in the building you will have access to the bundle pack that our good brother with me and our Kibalon that we've been doing for about two years already. Since 2022, we've been putting in work. This is our fifth installment. And like the brother said on the lecture, we have what is known as forever lectures. Forever lectures mean that the information is infinite. It doesn't go anywhere. You could go back to it 10 years from now and you're still gonna learn something. Forever lectures mean that the information it evolves, it grows, it is going to continue to quote unquote speak to you. 
all right because this information will continue to speak to you and you will see the great divine speaks through signs as you look around the news cycle it will begin to speak to the information that you got in this lecture and everything makes sense that's how books work you read a book it's a forever book you could pick that book up 10 years from that from when you first started reading it and that book starts reading you that book starts to read you okay so that's where information the lies don't last long when you are lied to like in school right they lied to us about who we were they lied to us about america and then when you pick up books later on down the line and when you look back on these textbooks you like all of this shit is a lie they lied to me it was a it was a virus that's not how the truth works when you revisit the truth later on down the line you become even more enlightened how about that so yeah that part um with that being said y'all you know what i mean ktl university and once again we got the music yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. music. i'm bearing witness to these jewels trying to break the rules they take the news forsake the truth and try to make us fools the paper used to fake the news when they make a move they hate to lose creator rules like every shade of blue and we don't hate the Jews, we hate the views That we forsake them dudes, incapable, we bank with Jews Debate with who that paper move and every state approve But make us who a Jacob's crew, that's how they make a move And they been eating off a plate of Yes, 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 Catrice, definitely hit me up when y'all get into Atlanta You have a bus full of college students coming to check out the black colleges I will take y'all on a tour through the new Black Wall Street And I will also take y'all on a personalized tour through KTL Studios over there at Industry ATL. So we could show the youth, right? Because whenever you talk to the youth and say, what do y'all want to be when y'all grow up? A majority of them say content creators. There's nothing wrong with that. The content creators of today will be the Tyler Perry's pause of tomorrow, meaning that you will be the executive producers, you will be the visionaries, and you will be the quote unquote studio owners of the future. Do not shun the youth when they say that they want to be content creators. What that means is they want to take their image and they want to take their stories and they want to create them. It's nothing wrong with that. It's not a thing wrong with that. And we have the technology to provide them the opportunity to do that. We got the cameras, we got the lights, we have the microphones, we have the know-how, we got the green screens, we have the technicians, we have the engineers and all of the things that you need to be a motherfucking legend and to be able to successfully pivot into the future because the future if nobody told you is right now literally literally i'm gonna be in my birkin for the rest of the month of april and we will be teaching about technology we are continuing our um ai movement our ai teachings and whatnot and we're pushing it into this month again um i'm gonna be teaching for the whole month of april something called kid journey all right kid journey not mid journey kid journey so I could teach the youth how to boss up using AI so they could teach their parents and whatnot, that part. So with that being said, I have work to do. Um, I have obligations that I need to take care of and whatnot. So we're going to end this show, um, but we will be back. You feel me? We will be back. No problem. Um, what's up with your man, though? To the work, um, because I did see where you were coming. You said you want to retire and then you came back yeah so what was that transition like and why did you decide to come back even if it's for a brief moment well no it's because finances you have to the moment that you know you go through the six-year criminal tax investigation yeah you know spend three four million dollars defending yourself and then because it's just paying don't, money to lawyers mm -hmm. and don't judge me don't judge me if i come out with my shit flipped like that do not judge me. You know what I'm talking about? I'm having fun with life. So that their whole thing is to bleed you out. Right. Now, a fascinating thing. Um, it's be I could sell a lot of albums with my shit flipped like this, though. I'm just saying, do not judge me. You niggas. <laughs> no ditty. <laughs> my nigga shit is laced. <laughs> Two points. Um, I had an issue with Fox. And see a at Fox and I could do magic and Disney mm -hmm. because the image that you see for Hustle and Flood for, for Empire that okay. profile mm -hmm. that came from a steel shot on on from Hustle and Flow mm -hmm. they took that flipped it and 
put it on everything, made a trademark of it, sold it around the wow. world, didn't ask my permission. Are you serious? Wow. It's, that image is. My man is pushing P in real time. You know what I'm talking about? You, you, you see what the Eclipse done did to these niggas? My nigga's pushing P in real time, bro. We not waiting. We not wait. We not, we not, nah, we pushing P right now, nigga, in real time. <laughs> worth a hundred million dollars at least for how much money that they made from it mm. we got a forensic photographer um, mm. photographer person wow. to go and find the actual frame we took that to jams because we were forced into arbitration with jams mm. you get you're not allowed to use the court system mm. you have to go into forced arbitration with jams and even seeing it and knowing that the arbitrator said, yeah, this definitely came from us on flow. Okay. But um, Fox and Disney have broad rights. What? They have broad rights. It's like, huh? Wow. Based on what? My writer clearly says you can only use it in character. You can only take pictures. See, he's trying to expose the wickedness. You know what I mean? The double handedness, the backdoor shit. You feel me? That these 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 people who basically all work together to rob our people and others of their IP and their images and shit like that. You feel me? He's on the crusades and whatnot to expose. He's on the same crusade that Monique was on. He's on the same crusade that Ye is on. He's on the same crusade because he's talking about the same people. Okay? He's talking about the same people. You feel me? The baby killers. That's who we talking about. The baby killers. There's a mafia in Hollywood. There's a mafia in Los Angeles. There's a mafia running things in America. You'll see what I'm talking about when you get the lecture, uh, Vulture Culture. I broke it all down. I gave you a whole rundown. Four hours was my lecture. I laid it down how these people, this is this is who the, our people always come running back, crying, crying. Because they went ahead and got in bed with these demons. But that perm is hitting though. I'm talking all, <laughs> I can say everything I'm saying, but it don't take away the fact that this nigga shit is laced. From something that is in character. Mm -hmm. How are you able to take something from an entirely other movie and wow. then they, Fox lost all of its records of how it came up with the image. I was about to say how they keep it. Every email concerning their logo, they lost all of that, and we get to the arbitration, and that's not concealment. What? That's not. So I'm like, okay, well, all right. And then the arbitrator started saying that we asked for um, uh, rights of publicity. No, we couldn't do that. Rights of publicity, you only got two years to do that, and they had concealed the entire time. No tax investigation. Yeah all of that and we get to the arbitration listen i think that it's only right that when you nice like that with the physics that you have to flip your wig bro how the fuck how could you be nice with physics like this man is and you wear a fade or a blowout nah farrah fawcett my niggas farrah fawcett me you know what i'm talking about if you nice like that with the physics i think that your wig should be flipped like this you gotta rock the motherfucking farrah fawcett you know what i'm talking about you just can't have a regular haircut you know what i mean you can't have a regular hair unit family your shit gotta be special you know what i'm talking about Spat. no did and that's not concealment what that's not so i'm like okay well all right and then the arbitrator started saying that we asked for um uh, rights of publicity no we couldn't do that rights of publicity you only got two years imagine him stating his case to this young this lovely young melanated sister with no shape up you know what i'm talking about imagine him sitting there with a fucking a buzzy ass cut with no shape up it just wouldn't hit the same when he's getting up there talking about the fibonacci sequence sequence imagine him saying that with a hat on it just don't hit the same Let's keep the perm, y'all. Don't be mad at this nigga. He's killing shit. Rest in peace. To do that, and they had concealed the entire time, told me that it was from, um, it was a composite of me and another actor, mm -hmm. which meant that it wasn't something for me. Mm -hmm. So they lied, did all of that stuff. We prove all of that in court. Mm -hmm. But fortunately, the arbitrator had 
made some erroneous statements inside of things. So we go to the appellate court. And I'm like, okay, okay you know what I'm going to do? We get the appeals for the under jams. Mm -hmm. We go there and... I, I'm like, okay, I don't want to get, uh, I don't want to get any superior court judges. I want to get federal court, federal judges because they were appointed and they didn't have to go through the process of maybe having to do favors and all that to get their stuff. The federal, those federal judges, they said, well, um, and why did you decide? Auntie, what? That's I'm asking this question for my auntie. She wanted to know, does a dress come with the wig? I, I don't got my sound effects. God damn it. That was the perfect time to press. You don't find that suspicious? I'm just saying. Um, I say R.I.P. Prince. I say R.I.P. Prince, the original wig flipper. You know what I'm talking about? The original wig flipper, the original wash and set type of nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, his shit is laced. You dig? His shit is laced. Yeah, hustle and flow. But uh, yeah, it's my guy right there. You know what I'm saying? That's my guy. We're not going to judge him right now. We're just going to smudge. But yeah, we're going to leave it with this song right here. We're going to bring this shit back. Y'all make sure once again that y'all go ahead. Here goes the pre-sales for the album right here. 12 tracks, 420. You feel me? We here. We here. We in the uh, we in the pillar season right now. You know what I'm saying? Don't judge me. We in the pillar season. So we got to keep cooking. You know what I mean? We just getting started. We have pretty stack. But with that being said, I'll see y'all. Love and light. Peace. Full time at money. They dangerous. Yeah. And as personally distasteful as I find secret bank accounts and diverted funds. As the Navy would say, this happened on my watch. I'm bearing witness to these Jews trying to break the rules. They take the news, forsake the truth, and try to make us fools. The paper used to fake the news when they make a move. They hate to lose creator rules like every shade of blue. And we don't hate the Jews, we hate the views. Then we forsake them dudes, incapable, we bank with Jews. Debate with who, that paper move in every state approved. But make a super Jacob's crew, that's how they make a move. And they've been eating off a plate of food. Since Eden was the place to move, leave no trace of clues. The paper trails, they make the mail and make the race prevail. They hate to fail, their faces pale, but they pay for blue. And we ain't shitting on you misinformed. I seen the clip this morning of a kid that's gone with a missing arm. This shit is wrong, using kids as pawn. Pistols drawn, special launch, they want to drop a bigger bomb. No! All that money and power is it bumps to the powder. Who's the one that's in power in the coming of hours? Even sons is devoured. Shit don't run like no coward. Yeah, the summer was ours. You loud and it blunts with the sour. The hood is off, the fangs is out, the hood is lost, they banging out, collision the cost, they ranging out, like Ricky Ross, some things is out, they clip the bosses, brains is out, the sticks was tossed, they stained them out. All that money and power, it's it bumps to the powder, who's the one that's in power, in the coming of hours, even sons is devoured, shit don't run like no coward, yeah, the summer was ours. All that money and power, it's it bumps to the powder, who's the one that's in power, in the coming of hours, even sons is devoured, shit don't run like no coward, yeah, the summer was ours. The day when the messiahs came, y'all was trying to catch a flight on a liar's plane, get a fire flames, shit is burning like the liar danes. From that David and Goliath fame, God bless all them sweet Sadies. God bless all them sweet babies. Cerebus escape from Hades. They killing all them babies. They killing all them ladies. The Philistines crying like they Billy Jean. The Philly teens waking up to killing scenes. We live it in the prophecies of Philistines. Them niggas popping perkies won't live to see the day of the turkey giveaway. Just the other day we had dirty giveaways. Pour out a little liquor. I'm one of them 50 niggas pocket implored. You one of them 50 niggas pocket ignored. Rockets roar. It's shocking that we had to use shocking for just to shock your whore. Scarface at the table with the block of roar. Bobby and the Whitney come and lock your jaws. Pockets poor. Now them pockets sore. We living in dystopian, the prophet sore. I ain't gonna hold you niggas, we told you niggas, you better stop fucking with the pills, they silencing the lambs like they buffalo pills, more kills in the buffalo fields, or the buffalo kids with the scorpion shields, high marks like the fields on the buffalo bills, I'm standing at the gates of a ruined state, a congruent state, 
when I spoke on the shit. They said that I was spewing hate. So what's these juice of late? Now that we doing great, please excuse my face. Ugh, gas chambers. Every story has a chapter. This the last chamber. Yeah, I sat by the doors and all of them spooks and spooky. They addicted to that soft flight, soft flight, years giving pookie. This is New Jack City and years giving Keisha and Suzuki. I just do the right thing and they say it's giving Mookie the way that blue be flexing. They say it's giving Tuki. You do know, talking about the boss, it gets you lost. Job is find your corpse, yeah, you dripping, but them coroners, they had to hit the frost. Many think that I'm using Henny Sink, but it's just a Henny drinks. And it's Zaz Agabor, it's Gully and it's Gaza at war. Yeah, that's my task of law. Huh. We ate the shrooms with eight maroons and Jamaican goons. In Great Saloon, we shaking rooms, watching nature bloom. They make my dues by lakes and pools in the Great Lagoon. I made it cool to break the news and some gator shoot. We breaking rules, we was late to school. It's April Fool. Train that I'm sure wish we on Alaska boosters. The block is so sturdy, the Glock is so dirty. They shot it for 30 like Bob 30. They popping the perky at top 30. 30. Million Lincolns just to free the slaves. The ships are sinking and it's still free to wave. Way the wave. Going to December. Going to December. Going to December.